actually looking for a sponsorship to to run a sports development in the township. Someone told me about Africa Tikkun uh, with Mark Labner that they're doing that kind of uh, community development. I phoned Mark and arranged a meeting and we spoke about uh, looking for sponsorship to do that. Mark said to me, you know what, we don't do sports program in our centers but I would love you to do that sports program within our centre as part of our development program. Then with our donors and uh, sponsors being involved in uh, participating in triathlon, we realise that if we can uh, then introduce the sports triathlon to our beneficiaries that are being supported by Belron Group, which is part of Safe Light, to learn how to do this sport. We put uh, posters around the communities the way Africa Tikkuni is to say we are looking for young people of this particular age that was under 19 who are very keen to learn triathlon as a sport. I heard about Africa Tikkun from a friend of mine who saw an advertisement saying that they were looking for people who could do sports, uh, particularly swimming and cycling and running. So he told me because he knew that I was able to swim in the local swimming pool and then so I went to uh, Africa Tikkun and then they introduced the sports to us and then they trained us and then we didn't know about the whole holistic development of Africa Tikkun. We just went there for the sports. I was able to go to the London Triathlon to, 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 to swim uh, in open water. I hadn't done that before. It was a great experience. And then afterwards from that I got another opportunity to go to Las Vegas. There was another triathlon that's organized by Safe Light, uh, which was also a great, 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 great experience. Uh, going to the US, that's something I've always dreamed of. So Africa to Kune, uh, its sponsors like your Baron made that possible. Uh, I changed as a person to look at someone and find something unique about them, potential about them, and then develop that. It was my first time to, ro to ride a road bike. I'm into sport, but I'm most, uh, I play soccer. So I wanted to try something new that will give me challenges. The difficult part was, was we were training almost every day and then long distance, and I was not used to long distance. The important thing to me is like I, I wish and hope and dream that Africa Tikkun and Sephora they can continue to do what they are doing for us to keep us going to so that we can maintain to support our family and teach other kids and motivate them to, be, to become like us one day in the future. Yes, I told myself that one day I will show them that I'm the best cycle here in Africa Tikkun. Africa Tikkun has done me a lot of things and has changed my life. Africa Tikkun and Safe Light, they, 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 they've given me a courage to persevere because of good things that I've done, now I've been selected to go to the Las Vegas on April, so I'm very excited. I chose cycling and then it has changed my life. I was dreaming to fly to overseas, especially America. And then I was also dreaming to ride an airplane, to sleep in a hotel. And then with Africa Tikkun, they gave me that chance. Thanks to Africa Tikkun and Safe Life for being there. If it wasn't for them, I don't believe, I don't know where I would have been today. I want to work hard because I want them to see that I, it's not that I'm joking, but I have a talent for cycling sports. What make, make me proud is to, to speed with, 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 with a bicycle, to know how to ride. I like to do things that will help people because of Africa Tikkuni. It's helping me.
In bicycle, you need to keep pedaling. If you stop pedaling, that's when you stop. And if you stop, it means you cannot move. That's how I conceptualize bicycle in my in my mind. Africa Tigun is all about, you know, uh, it's all about it's all about the principles of, of, of developing community. Developing community means if they are able to develop an individual, you are able to go and develop the other people as well. So it, it develops everybody. So just as was what, what were you doing here? And was, he said he was in London. The picture was so beautiful. He was in London. And I said, what were you doing there? He said, I was doing, uh, I was cycling, doing tri triathlon. I was like, well, there's cycling here. He said, yeah, you should join if you want. But there are no girls here. I was like, oh, I'm going to do it. So I tried to join cycling and the guys were so supportive. The rules of cycling, you have to be disciplined. And you have to be punctual in cycling. If you're not punctual, you get left behind. With cycling, I've traveled out of uh, South Africa for the first time in my life. It was a very nice experience and it showed me that in life, if you get yourself into something, if you get committed and persevere and have passion about something, it can actually get you far in life. I really like to thank Africa Tikkun and Katlas for giving the opportunity to went to Germany. And who would, who would have thought that a girl like me from a township like Alexander could go and be in a flight to went, and went to Germany to compete in a triathlon event. I was, I was over the moon to be chosen to go to participate in Safe Flight uh, Triathlon Challenge. It, it helped me as an individual to adapt to a different environment, a diversity of people, food, everything. You just learn, you just learn, you get inspired. So it was actually an, um, a beautiful moment for me. Those were the moment that I will treasure for the rest of my life. So Safe Flight Challenge had, had, has made it possible for me to be you know, to experience life beyond what I would ever experience. We want to change our lifestyle from the streets to do cycling. I went to Las Vegas. I did Mr. Pr uh, Mr. Thomas Proud. I swam uh, 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 750 meters in 20 minutes and 55 seconds for the first time in my life. And that changed my life a lot. I'm not doing the things that I was doing before. Or, like I'm looking in a positive way. Parents say flight cutlass. It like they made my parents to be smiling again for me. If you don't respect or not disciplined, you're not gonna be successful in life. So I want to tell young girls out there that you can also do it. You can also be a cyclist. You can also go to Germany. You can also do 94.7 like I did. There's nothing wrong with that. And that what you need, what you need is only a hard work patience, commitment, and be committed to what you are doing, and success will just follow you. Like hard work and dedication that can develop you individually, but have that uh, spirit of wanting to help the person next to you. Eventually you will help two people next, you help a family. When you help one person, you help a family, and then you've changed the community at large. As part of the staff of Africa Tikkun, I grow and I developed through their process. I cannot thank them enough, them and their sponsors as a whole.